this video I'm going to show you a new model of mine I've called Simply Awkward. The reason for the name is that I can't think of a good name for the geometric shape of this. This is some kind of sunken, dimpled, cuboctahedron sort of shape. But the units themselves are very simple to fold. But it is slightly awkward to assemble, so I've called it simply awkward for that reason. This model is folded out of memo paper, it's 9cm squares. Um, you can use standard 15cm origami paper, here's one I've done like that. Um, I don't recommend it. The paper is a little thin and what you really need with the modules of this is for them to have a slight springiness, a slight thickness to the paper. Just makes it hold its shape that little bit better. But you can use standard origami paper if you wish. So I'm going to start folding one of these. I'm going to have a green square of paper. Um, and here we go, let's start folding. If this was paper that had a white side to it, um, then this would be white side up. So initially I'm going to fold on the white side and fold diagonally both ways. Okay. Then turning over to the coloured side, so these are now mountain creases, I'm going to fold in half both ways like this. Valley crease. Two valley creases. And with this on that same side where these are valley creases, I'm going to fold the edge to the center line. Like this. And with that edge in place, I'm going to turn the paper over and add two diagonal creases here and here. I'm only going to crease as far as this centre line, so let's do that. We're folding raw edges together, these are diagonal, but I'm only creasing that far. I'll crease it the other way as well. There we are. If I turn that over and I unfold this, I'm going to rotate the paper 90 degrees and do the same moves again. So crease the edge to the center, turn the paper over, fold these two diagonals. All of the creases are going to be going exactly the right way we need. So once we've done all of this pre-creasing, let's turn this back over, unfold, rotate. Once we've done all of this creasing, it assembles really nicely. It just comes together when you push the shape. We'll show you that in a moment. So, turn over two more diagonals. That's three of the edges done. And fold, rotate, last edge to the centre. And the last two of our pre-creases turn over and these two diagonals. We'll end up with 16 creased squares. Each square has got one diagonal in it. We'll have a look at that in a moment. So I'm unfolding this. Okay, we've got our crease pattern all done. I've got this paper round so that the long creases are mountain folds. So paper bends like that. In fact we're going to bend the paper this way and we're going to bend the paper this way and the other thing to prepare for our collapse is to slightly push in the center. Just have that pointing inwards. Once we've done that we can take these two edges at the side. There's a mounting crease on each of them and I'm just going to put that crease in place and push the edges to the center. A little. And you can see it starts to come together. 
And if I rotate the model 90 degrees to do the same on these two edges, it should push all the way together like this. And that's more or less the assembly. There's one other little thing I like to do. If I turn the model over, we can see that these have a valley crease in them, but then they're, they're kind of flat at the moment. So I'm just going to put those valley creases in place. So pinch that one, and pinch that one, I'm going to pinch that one, and I'm going to pinch that one. So there's our module completed. That's actually kind of too claw-like at the moment. You should open it out slightly so that these points are more or less vertical. Not, not quite vertical, slightly inwards. Like about that much. And here's some I prepared earlier. Five other units. We've got our six units in total. And it's time for the awkward part, which is the assembly. Um, it's not that awkward. For this paper it should be quite straightforward. The principle is that this corner here is going to sit inside and this, corner, this point is going to touch the center of the model like this. So there is two units in place and what you see is so on the inside there is a point that touches the center and if we look at the back of the model on the outside this green point is touching the center. Oops, sorry, this, let me let you see it. There you are, that green point is touching the center. So that's two modules in place. Okay, let's add a third one. That's where it starts to get fun. So this yellow model mod point is sitting on top of this. So this red module is going to sit underneath. like this and because this yellow point is on top this yellow point is going to have to be on the outside so let's move that point to the outside and there's three of our units in place let's have a little rotate of that just to see it's going to be a little delicate for a while and the way I've chosen to assemble my model is to have the same colour on either side. So here's another yellow unit. Um, this point is going to go on the inside. Like that. But as you can see on here this yellow point is on the outside. So this one needs to be on the outside as well. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got four units loosely hanging together. And we've just got a red one to put on this side now. Um, and the point is underneath the model, so I'm going to put the green unit on top of the red unit. And the yellow units need to be on the outside. So this yellow point is going to have to be encouraged to go on the outside without destroying anything else and the other yellow point needs to do the same so red inside yellow outside and there that's gripping together quite well not awkward at all is it um, so we've got one more unit to put on the easiest way to do that is to initially put the whole unit outside. So I'm just going to plonk this on the top like that and it's kind of gripping outside. But that's fine on the yellow side because the green points are supposed to be on the outside. But on this side um, the green point needs to be on the inside. So I'm going to flip, swap the yellow and the green, corner, red and green corners. So I'm going to tease the red corner out and put the green corner inside. If you can see that, there we are. We'll turn it round and we'll do the same again. We'll pull the red corner out and put this green corner in. I'm very close to finishing this off. And it hasn't fallen apart once. 
which you might do when you first try, there. Now, rather loosely, that is all of the modules assembled. We can tidy this up quite significantly though. Um, if we look at these corners, you see the big hole there. And to tidy it up, we just tighten that hole. We slide the unit so that yellow lead one needs to go across. We make that a nice tight. Yeah, I'm going to rotate the model. There's another bad one. Tighten it up. I'm going to rotate the model again. There's another bad one. Tighten it up. And another one. Tighten it up. So we've kind of tightened up the top half. I'm going to flip the model over, see what these ones are like. They're not too bad, I'm just going to tease that together. And we are just about finished. There is our Simply Awkward. Once it's actually done, it's actually reasonably robust. So I hope you have fun folding your one. There's Simply Awkward for you.